Lesson 8 homework. Number 1. Add or subtract. 3 plus 1 and 1 fourth. So I'm going to draw my number line. Start at 0. We start with 3. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3. So we have 3. And then I'm going to add 1. So plus 1. We're at 4. Plus we have this 1 fourth. So we would have, if I continued with my number line, I'd have 5 next. But I'm going to break this into fourths. And if we add just one more fourth, we're at 4 and 1 fourth. 2 minus 1 and 5 eighths. Now we're subtracting. So I'm going to start over here at 2. And if I subtract, I'm going to subtract the whole number. Subtract 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then if I subtract 5 eighths, I'll break this into eighths. If I subtract 5 eighths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm going to end up right here. So there is 0, 1 eighth, 2 eighths, and this is 3 eighths. So we get 0 and 3 eighths, which is just 3 eighths. C, 5 and 2 fifths plus 2 and 3, three fifths. So I'm going to start at 0, and then we add, I'm going to add the 5, so plus 5, and then I'm going to add the 2, so plus 2 would get us to 7, and then I'm going to go to 8 and break it into fifths. So we have plus 2 fifths. And then another three fifths. And that gets us to eight. Four minus two and five sevenths. I'm going to start at four and subtract two. So four minus two is two. So if I subtract two, I'm at two. And then I need to subtract 5 sevenths. So I'm going to go down to 1 and break this into sevenths. And subtract 5 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we end up with 1 and there's 1 seventh, 2 sevenths. E, 8 and 4 fifths plus 7. So I'm going to start at 0, plus 8, and I'm going to then do plus 7. That'll get us to 15. And then I just need to add 4 fifths. So I'm going to jump up to 16 and add four fifths, one, two, three, four fifths, which will get us to 15 and four fifths. 18 minus 15 and three fourths. I'm gonna start out at 18. And if I subtract 15, 18 minus 15 is three. So I'm gonna subtract 15 and end up at 3. And now I just need to subtract this 3 fourths. So I'm going to go down to 2, break it into fourths, and if I subtract 1, 2, 3 fourths, I end up at 2 and 1 fourth. G, 16 plus 18 and 5 sixths. I'm going to start at 0, and I'll add 16, and get 16, and then I'll add 18, and 16 plus 18, in case we keep, 
Just make sure we don't make any mistakes. It's 34. And now I just need to add 5, 6. So I'm going to jump up to 35 and break it into 6. And add 5, 6. 2, 3, 4, 5. So we get 34 and 5 sixths. 100 minus 50 and 3 eighths. So we'll start at 100. If we do 100 minus 50, we'll end up at 50. And now I just need to subtract the 3 eighths. So I'm going to go down to 49, break it into eighths, and subtract three of them. One, two, three. So I end up right here which is 49 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths. Number two, the total length of two ribbons is 13 meters. If one ribbon is 7 and 5 eighths meters, what is the length of the other ribbon? So together, they are 13 meters. 1 is 7 and 5 eighths, so we're going to subtract the 7 and 5 eighths to figure out what the first one is. So if I do 13 minus 7, the whole number, I'll end up at 6. And then if I subtract the 5 eighths, I'll go down to 5 and break it into eighths. And subtract 5 eighths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'll end up at 3 eighths, which would be 5 and 3 eighths meters for the first ribbon, or the other ribbon. Number three, if Sandy took two hours to jog 13 miles, or it took Sandy two hours to jog 13 miles, she ran seven and a half miles in the first hour, how far did she run during the second hour? So she's jogging a total of 13 miles. And it was seven and a half in the first hour, so we need to know how much she jogged in the in the second hour. So let's subtract seven and a half. If I do thirteen minus seven, I end up with six. And then I just need to subtract the half. So I'll go down to five and split it into half. So minus a half, we get five and one half miles in the second hour. Andre says that five and three fourths plus two and one fourth equals seven and a half because seven and four eighths equals seven and a half. Identify his mistake. Draw a picture to prove that he's wrong. Well, seven and four eighths does equal seven and a half. So let's see where he went wrong on his addition here. So if we start out at zero, and then I'm going to add 5 and get to 5. And then I'm going to add 2. And I'll end up at 7. And then I need to add 3 fourths. And I'll add another fourth. So I should end up at 8. So our picture here proves that it's not equal to 7.5, it's equal to 8. And now that I'm looking, I see what he did. What he did is he just added the 3 and the 1 and got 4 and then added the denominators and got 8. We cannot do that. You must find a common denominator in order to add them. And so... That was his problem. Instead of just adding the numerators, he also added the denominators.